Hi, I'm with Badger Basket, here to go through the combo bin storage unit with the three baskets. Please note that this does come in multiple colors, but for the assembly, the instructions will be the same. Before we get started, make sure you have all the pieces required and that nothing's damaged. If you have a damaged piece or are missing anything, contact Badger Basket as listed at the end of the instructional video. So let's get started. For step one, what we're going to need is part A, part B, two parts of C, and part D. Along with that, we'll need nine O screws and one Q dowel to start the first step. So first I'm going to put together part A and part B. What you're going to see here is in part B, there will be a groove here. That needs to be facing upward. Part A will be standing alongside of it with the groove on the inside aligning with that other groove. And we're going to match it right up to the edge here where two screws are going to go right in the side here. So I'm going to turn this a little bit so you can see those screws going in. So we're going to be putting in a screw here and a screw here to hold these two pieces together. Now for this demonstration, I'm going to be using a drill just to make it a little bit easier. But please note that you are also welcome to use a hand Phillips screwdriver. If you do use a drill, make sure you have the torque setting on a low setting so that it doesn't strip the wood. Once you have part A and part B screwed together, what we're going to be doing is putting on both of part C's. So for this one, you're going to see that there's two screw holes on the bottom of the longest end. Those are going to align with the two screw holes on the bottom of part B. So the curved part is facing towards the front, away from that groove in the back. That's going to go here, and the other part C will be going over here. So to make this easier, I'm going to flip this up on its side here and screw those into place. Making sure again that that groove is to the front. The last part of step one is putting on part D. So part D is this wavy piece that you'll notice on one side has these screws in the corners. These are going to go to the inside. The outside is going to have the larger screw holes where the screws will go in. And this is going to be placed right here in the front. Now to put this piece in place, on the side towards part A, the very bottom hole on the side is where this dowel goes in. So you're going to see the two screw holes. This is where the dowel will go, and this is where the screw will go. So we'll put this dowel in the very bottom hole. And we're going to put that right in the bottom of part A. And it should just pop right into place. Now for this top hole, we're going to screw that one in. And we're also going to screw these two front holes in to keep this part D in place. So let's get all three of these screwed in. So let's get started with step two. With step two, you're going to need parts E, F, two of part O screws, and two of the Q dowels. So first what I'm going to be doing is putting in this back panel, which is part E. To do so, it's going to be going behind these two part C's, away from the curve, and it's going to go right into that groove on this bottom panel. It should slide right in. Then we're going to push it all the way to this part A, so that it's in that groove nice and tight as far as it can go. 
Next, what we're going to be doing is putting on part F, which is the top. So for the part F, there's going to be a side that has the four holes here. These are peg holes that will have to be facing upward. So make sure that is up. And this groove needs to be going to the back, away from this curved. You'll also notice that there are two holes on this very side that will be going to part A. This is where you're going to be putting two dowels in to hold it to part A. So let's first put in those two dowels. Like so. And then what we're going to be doing is placing this on top and making sure that this back gets in the groove on the bottom underneath side. So we'll get it to pop into place here. Once it's down, we're going to slide it all the way to part A so that, that dowels, the dowels go inside so it's nice and snug. The last thing we're going to be doing is putting two screws to hold this down in place. So let's move on to step three. For step three, you're going to need parts G, H, I, then you're going to need eight of the Q doubles and two of the O screws. So first what we're going to be doing is putting in the part G's. Part G are these little squares here. You're going to see two holes on the top here and two holes on the bottom. This is where dowels are going to go that are going to align with these holes here and here. So let's put all four dowels in on each square and put those up into place. So next we're going to be putting in the back panel, which is part I. That will be going right into this back groove, just as we put in the other back panel and we're going to slide it all the way over into part A as far as it can go. Then we're going to be putting on this top piece which is part H and you'll see that there's this groove that's going to be going to the back and you want the two peg holes going upward. Underneath you're going to have the four peg holes which are going to align with these pegs that were put in place in part G. So let's get this put on top, make sure the pegs are in each of the holes and then that back panel is aligned in that back groove. Like so. The last part of this step is there are two screw holes on this side here that are going to screw into that top part H. So let's get those screwed into place. Moving on to step four. For step four, you need parts N, M, five of the Q pegs, and five of the O screws. So this is gonna mimic this first step, putting on this side panel. There's gonna be two screw holes here that will align with the two screws down here. These two holes, remember the bottom one is a peg hole, and the top one is a screw hole, which will align to these here. The next two up, We'll align with these holes and these are meant for pegs so we're going to be putting pegs in these. The next two up will be screw holes and then we have to remember to put this back panel within this groove. So let's get this all aligned up and get this screwed into place.
So the last thing we have to do is putting in part M. Part M is what's going to be going along the top here. So what you'll see on each edge is a small hole, peg hole where a peg will be put in place on each side. So we'll put in the peg here and one on the other side. Then you will see some larger indented screw holes. That is going to be facing downward. The smaller of the screw holes will be facing upward. Now to make putting this piece in a little bit easier, if you leave these top screws that we put in last for this piece here on the side a little bit looser, so not all the way screwed in, this part can pop in a little bit easier. So we'll pop in this one over here. Pop this double into place and then we'll tighten these two screws up which will hold that part M into place. For step five, you're going to need parts J, K, L, four of the O screws, two of the P screws, and four of the Q dowels. So first what we're going to be doing is putting the K panel in place. So this panel will be the same as the other panels where it goes back into that groove in the back. Now this is going to be a little bit snug to get in just because we have all the pieces already in place. So we'll slide it down and sometimes you got to give it a little push down to make sure it pops into place. So next what we're going to be doing is putting in part J. Part J will be going right here on this side here and you're going to see that there's two holes on the top of part J and two holes on the bottom. These are for the pegs. The pegs will be on the top and the bottom to help hold it in place. So let's put those pegs in first. And then what we're going to do is slide this down and get those pegs to pop in. The last thing we're going to be doing is putting on part L. Part L is the top panel that will be going on top of it all. So on one side, you will see the larger indented screw holes, which will be the very top. On the other side, which will be facing downward, you're going to see the groove that will go to the back panel and the two peg holes that we have to line that part J into. So let's get this up in place. making sure that those peg holes get into that hole. And making sure that that back panel is popped down in place. Once you have it all set, we'll go around and we'll put all four screw holes on the top going around. To finish this step, what we need to do is put the smaller of the screws, so the screw P, up into these holes from part M to put it up in place. There's going to be one here and one over here that we need to screw upward. When you're screwing upward, make sure you put pressure on top so that it has a nice tight fit. So let's get those in place. So now let's get started with step six. For step six, you're going to need two of the S parts, a T part, and 16 of the R stickers. So let's get started with putting the baskets in place, which are parts S and T. So for these baskets, we're just going to unfold them like so, and the opening will be to one side. In that opening, you're going to be putting this flat piece, which will fit its basket, and put it nice and firmly in the bottom which will hold the baskets into place. So this basket will be going right in the middle here. Then you're going to have two of the smaller baskets. Same thing, just open those up. 
put the longer piece the long way of the basket so that it's held in place and to the last basket open it up put in that bottom insert and put that basket into place so the last part of step six is putting on all the stickers. So what the stickers are gonna do is cover these screw holes shown around the basket set. So what we're gonna have is five on this side panel, five on the other side panel, two in the front, and four up on top. So that will be all 16 of your stickers. So let's get those put in place. And we're all set. Just a reminder that there are other colors available, but the assembly will be the same. If you have any other questions or concerns, please reach out to Badger Basket as shown in the end of this instructional video. Otherwise, enjoy and thanks for watching.